But good Lord, was he funny. Dave, speaking of funny, you see our boy made the fucking cover of Rolling Stone. Who? Wheeler Walker. No, he didn't. Really? Seriously? Let's pull it out. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, good for him. Yeah, he hasn't answered the phone in days. That's hilarious. Once you hit the, once you hit the cover of fucking... Uh, oh, Rolling, I gotta see that. I gotta see drop, that. Unless somebody made it up. Unless somebody just made up a fake cover, how is that high? <laughs> well, what's the chance of that? About ninety-five percent. We'll see. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, I hope he did. I hope he did. Here's a guy that they wouldn't sell his albums at Kmart, and he put it on the album like that was a, when I went and saw him live, uh, and you and you opened yeah, for him. That was a crazy night. That was crazy. He's I was great. standing next to uh, uh, Ron Jeremy the whole time. I think Wheeler deserves it, but I think you might have had a one too many edibles, Joey. You think so? I think you might have. Yeah, I think somebody put out like a fake cover or something. I, I, yeah, I get high at night. It's hey, just, I understand. It's understandable. Sometimes I go home at night. And I just I'm lonely, dog. At night, <laughs> those fucking two broads go to bed at nine thirty. Do you know what happens after nine thirty in my house, dog? It's, it's circus time. It's either smoke dope or eat myself. To you know what I'm saying? Like I, I found a bag of expired edibles. They were uh -huh. two years old. They were so fucking strong. And so good that I went to Weight Watchers. I gained four pounds. Like the lady said, "What happened to you? You were doing so great." Said, Do they give you points for the edibles? Do they tell you the star well, of death there's, sixty there's, points? There's or... Sixty calories is one point. Okay. So I always, you know, what I'm saying it's not like I got put down on the chart edible. There's no chibachu on my fucking. Yeah, book, it's not know? on there. No, I can't go to Weight Watchers and put chibachu. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's see. Let's yeah. just see if it maybe you know. Giggles. One maybe. of these days, I'm sure it will be. I'm surprised yeah, they might have got with the Food. program. Food. Oh my god. Let's see. Chibachu. Chi ba chu. Yeah. So no. Seven points, craft pizza, cheese, and macaroni. <laughs> Fuck that. That's because it knows what that's what you're gonna eat after you eat the chibachu. Yeah. No, 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 no. There's sixty the point the, the stars of death were also they're done. They're, they're, they're done. You'll never see a star again. No? Anarchy, rest in peace. Okay. What? They just stopped making them? Uh, the government cut them down to 100. Oh, okay. The lady wanted to give me something the other day. The one I Jew wanted to give me something the other day that I think I've put Lee through a lot the last six years. <laughs> and I love him very much. And he's my little brother. And I torment him. I gave him heroin. And I gave him no, he didn't give me heroin. Yes, I do. I, I always <laughs> tell him, don't go for a piss test because you never know what's in you. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> they gave me a bottle of THC liquid that was a thousand milligrams. And it comes to the only thing we can take it to the syringe. When I saw the syringe, for two minutes I go, I'm going to bring it just to petrify Lee. And just, yeah. But just I think, chase him around the room. I, I think with he it? won't come back from it. Like, he'll never come back from me coming in here with a bottle. Yeah, you're not going to syringe, syringe me. What are you going to bring a nurse he in and put in my He would definitely go into the therapist and tell her on Friday. Joey can give you a shot. He doesn't need no, a no, nurse. No, 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 no. This wasn't even a needle in it. This is just the thing that you. Oh, just to out. take the water. Oh, yeah, you it was spray like it in very, your mouth. It was okay. very white. It was for white people. Gotcha, to be, gotcha. To be, you know, like, oh my God, look at this. You <laughs> take it and you put it under your tongue. <laughs> you know, like now we had a spray. There's a spray that you could thousand milligrams, twenty fucking milligrams of spray. That's insane. But they cut it down because as of July first, the, the law changed again. So there's no edibles over a hundred no more. So those Chiba chews were the last. Now I gotta eat ten of those to get high. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. That's too many points. That, yes. Did you try the the dropper? Because if you tried the dropper, Lee, I'm not said, bringing the dropper because I don't think you'll come back. When I saw the dropper, it gave me goosebumps. He's looking out for you. And if it gave me well, goosebumps, I was gonna say if it scared Joey. I yeah. don't think you would you don't make want it. I don't think you come. I think you'd sit here that night, do the dropper, and the next day. It'd be like Marlon Brando in Apocalypse Now. It's <laughs> the letter he wrote his wife, sell the house, sell the dog. I'm never coming back. <laughs> he went for a pack of cigarettes and never uh, came back. Oh, my God. Uh, you, might be, you might be right. If, if it scares you, I'm not going to argue with you. Oh yeah. My God. No, I was like, you know what? Lee's had enough in this life. <laughs> yeah. He had a fucking syringe. Oh, kids, I'm, I'm going to make a clip of this. At part yeah, this oh is funny God. because nobody anymore, like, he, he knew about it. And I was very surprised. We were talking about nodders. I grew up in a generation of nodders. Uh -huh. I spoke about it this week on the stage <laughs> that I grew up in a time that the light in New York, you know when you press the light and it tells you like 14, 13? Uh -huh. There was a time the light didn't tell you that. 
Really? You just yeah, it just went to yellow and then fucking red. Yeah. But junkies would be at the light waiting across the street and they would not at the light. And then they would like go Miss down the to whole one, thing. Oh my god, they would go down to one knee and then get up. <laughs> I mean, I grew up in a generation of nodders. And I was telling him that one time a guy nodded on a we got because Jer- Jersey City was where you got methadone. Uh huh. So when we get on the bus to go to high school, we get on the bus with nodders that took the bus. Like if you took methadone, they give you like a free bus pass. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Like last week you gave blood, and they gave you a five dollar gift certificate to yeah, a but cookie to, to a cookie and the soda. And they give you a five dollar. It's the same thing. When you go get the methadone, if you went down there, they give you like a bus pass and something else and. This guy was on methadone, sitting on the bus, already gone. And he had a newspaper open. It was open. And he was drooling. And the drool was connected from his lip to the paper, Greg Garcia. And there was just a big circle. And this motherfucker was hitting, you know how bus just are? Yeah. His head's bopping all around. He wouldn't wake up. And with all, and those days, we'd shoot spitballs at you. Like, if we got on that bus and you were on heroin, we were tormented. Me and my boys were tormented. These are the last five minutes of happiness in the go, whole life? We'd start throwing spitballs at you and shit. I go, I got this. And I blew a fart. Like, one of those you who Because in those days, I used to always have a butter roll and a you for <laughs> breakfast. And that goes right to your fucking... There's no cereal. There's no oatmeal in Jersey. <laughs> it's a butter roll and a you who Just bread and you And I'll never forget, I blew a fart. And this guy was out, out. Like, he was like this. And this is exactly what his eyes did, Greg Garcia. He was like this. He went. <laughs> <laughs> like, he just woke up and he, he looked around. He's like, man, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? <laughs> they got that shot like Pulp Fiction that they give to people when they're, uh, when they're uh, too, too high on heroin. Or when they're going. Right. If they run out of that shot, you could probably bottle your farts. What do you mean? Bottle your farts. Get it to the the yeah. the, uh, the, oh, the, the, the the paramedics. Because the whole smelling salt industry is <laughs> exactly. Done. It's so fucking funny. I have a friend who was a junkie, <laughs> a dear friend. We still talk every day. He's my brother. Mm-hmm. He's my brother. I've known him since I was, and he went through a rough period. And whenever they would, so when he was my roommate, he was on heroin. I was just starting comedy in New York, and every oh, his job was every Thursday. He went to the park to move a few rocks. And they give him $140 in food stamps, and then he'd go to the city and cr- trade in for heroin, you know? <laughs> he wouldn't even trade it for cash. He would just direct it for heroin? <laughs> Directly for heroin, for the food stamps. <laughs> and they'd give him a bus pass. But I'd wait till he'd get on the heroin, and I'd clip the bus pass every Thursday. Because I used to work in the city. So for me to go into the city, my friend's father drove the bus. But even if I had to be at work at 10, I was so poor that I would have to get the 6 o'clock bus because he would let me on for free. Uh-huh. Now I could sleep late. So I would clip his bus pass. And I remember he'd get high on heroin. and he'd look at me and goes, I know you stole my bus pass and <laughs> shit. <laughs> I used to call him the pincushion at the time. He was my roommate. And he would get he would go clean from Sunday to Thursday. And then he'd pick up that $140 and he'd get like a gram of Coke and whatever you could. And was him. he sick from Sunday to Thursday or... He would sleep and he would yeah. yell atrocities at me and <laughs> right. call me a loser and tell me I'd never be a comic. And I loved him. I knew he what he was going through. So from time to time, I'd give him 10 bucks and tell him to go fix and shit. Uh-huh. But once Thursday came, he would go into his grandmother's room and start fucking blasting. And I mean, when you went into that room Sunday, Greg Garcia, there was blood on the walls. You thought Sharon Tate had gotten killed from him missing Good the Lord. van. Like, and he would have to spend his whole Monday wiping down the walls. I mean, he would lose like a gallon of blood every fucking weekend. Good Lord. So me and my buddies used to call him the pincushion. We'd see him walking back over the bridge, and we'd beep at him, get in the car, you fuck. It was, now he's clean and sober, like nothing happened. But he knows when people are lying. Like, as soon as Prince's plane pulled over, he called me, and he goes, Prince got about a week left. I swear to my mother's grave. Really? Yeah, he sees it. Like, one time we went to do the Artie Lang show, and when we left, he goes, I don't know who the fuck he's kidding. He's high already. Yeah. And I'm like, no, he's not. He's, he's been sober for years. But this dude's a been week there later, so, so long. Yeah. He tells. So it was funny. Yesterday, he calls me out of the blue, and I'm with the Mercy. I'm with my daughter watching the news, and I pick up the phone. I'm like, what's up, George? And he goes, look at these fucking idiots. Demi Lovato is going through a rough time at the hospital. She OD'd on the 24th. She's not going through a rough time. She's dope sick, you dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> like, he was arguing with the fucking newspaper. Yeah. yeah. Like, he just picks up shit. He'll tell me little things that I don't see. You know, you think you're like a man of the world. 
But man, he always picks shit off. Like he'll tell me this guy's eating pills. Yeah. This guy smells like heroin. Like how do you know? I can smell it. I still smell that shit. <laughs> he's like an airport dog. Oh my god, he's amazing. But he'll tell me when people. I can't tell. I can't tell when people. I know when people are doing coke. Yeah. I did it for thirty fucking years. But I can't tell when somebody's doing like a pill or something like that. I can't tell. Yeah. Huh. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs>